नबी फिगर हेड लीडर लाइजन तो इन इंटरपर्सनल सो रोल यू हैव द मैनेजमेंट फंक्शन पी ओ एल सी प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग लीडिंग कंट्रोलिंग राइट यू मे बी मैनेजिंग विद द पीपल प्लानिंग विद द पीपल लीडिंग द पीपल सो यू आर परफॉर्मिंग वन और टू फंक्शन ऑफ द मैनेज ऑफ द मैनेजमेंट वेन यू हैव दिस दिस इंटरपर्सनल रोल वेन यू आर परफॉर्मिंग इंफॉर्मेशनल रोल यू आर मॉनिटरिंग डिसमिनेटरिंग और बींग अ स्पोक्स पर्सन <coughs> sorry and then when you are having decisional role so you are also providing doing the combination of the management function entrepreneurship disturbance handler resource allocator and negotiator so we'll see that one by one so when we talk about interpersonal role leader that person who is guiding the department or organization it means he is in his interpersonal role take your head when everybody look at him as a you know some figure for for his actions to follow them so mostly you have heard this uh, you have experienced this if the boss is Uh, sorry if the manager is inside his cabin everybody is sitting when the managers go out everyone is go out leave the work it is a chinese style i i have worked for them so i'm going to give you a little bit over there i think in your country as well you know because they see that okay if the manager is still in his cabin doing the work then we cannot leave the organization same thing happen in japan as well as long as the manager are in their office nobody is allowed to leave officially whether it's 9 to 6 job or 9 to 8 if the manager is inside the cabin for 11 or 10 pm you also still over there for 11 to 12 pm okay so liaison all right monitor disseminator spokesperson negotiator resource allocator these are roles So remember, we have three roles: interpersonal role, which means, you know, talking or managing people. You know, manager. Walk is like talk. So whenever managers are walking, they are also communicating. All right, decisional role, which means the interpersonal role. where to go should we allocate this much budget that's it and how we are going to negotiate on our vendors from our suppliers right and also informational roles how to communicate to your employees what kind of you know uh, uh, words i need to use right so that's why in in this 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 is basically nowadays much more important role of the manager informational role and the biggest one is communication so we'll talk about we have all chapters in our coming slides so just going to uh, give you the uh, a little bit taste that communication is very necessary and nowadays if organization is not communicating efficiently if you know this is the age of mobile phone everyone has mobile phone and they make a video and it go viral and there are a lot of bombardment of you know negative comments on the organization and all the stuff so you have heard that you have seen in the uh, some movies or some clips of the pepsi uh, you know ads for some uh, airline ads right so this role is very important for them how to be a spoke person communicator communication within the organizations and spokes person outside of the organization to to represent the organization so that's why you will never see a coca cola you know employee high ranking employee who is drinking pepsi or drinking some other stuff 
Why? Because even outside of the organization, they care about their organizational roles. Nestle CEO will always sit on the table with the Nestle bottle of mineral water or something and Nestle products. Because even outside of the organization, they are representing the organizations. All right? So in order to become a manager, what skills you need? Of course, it's not like that. You need to learn how to use Excel, how to use yeah, you know my physics knowledge so that are just your work to do and that's it that's just a basic level stuff but in order to get the management skills you must we have some technical skills even though you are not working on the factory on the machine but you must have some kind of knowledge of the factory for example if you are working in a fashion industry and if you don't know the five fabric here, you are not a good manager. All right? So for you, you must know the fabric, how this is woven, how, you know, the people, they make this stuff. You don't, you are not required to know this 100% accuracy and all the stuff. Just you need to understand that how this is made, how much hours it took to make this fancy coat, and jacket and all the stuff where the raw material is coming how the raw material is coming from which source right you must have the technical skills human skills so you need a minimum technical skills majority human skills because you need to get your things done with the people by the people through the people so you need to have some kind of human skill. If you are a quiet person, shy person, you cannot be a good manager. And then the most important stuff is conceptual. You must have the ability to handle complex situations. So we were discussing, somebody told me about the restaurant situation. For example, I will I'm having a dinner and an employee spills some coffee on my couch. There are two solutions. One is you apologize, you say sorry, and that's it. And the other thing is you ask your customer to give them the quote as soon as you finish this coffee or something. We, we, we will help you to wash this coat and something and we will be giving you uh, you know this wash for free or something we will be handling this situation so what so what will happen in these two situations your customer will be happy in first situation he would say that you just say the word sorry s o r r y so does it comfort me in some cases yeah but if I have I have a very important meeting in 10 minutes after this coffee or something, then this impression may cost my job, may cost my future business profits, may cost my business. Should I? Should the customer tell you? Should, should the customer require to tell you that I have a meeting here for this business? No. And if you have a conceptual skill and you offered him a free wash or as soon as you you know finish the coffee, it's going to be here for you for the drying purposes or something. Uh, we we would be handing over you this coat, so that will have a good mark on his memory, and he has come again. Plus, the word of mouth will bring more new customers. So, if you cannot deal with the complex situations you cannot be a good manager you can be a worker in the organization but you cannot be the manager so remember what are the management functions Man manager can also perform planning part can also perform organizing part can also perform controlling part can also perform leading part and 
what are the rules there are 10 rules you are not necessarily to exert all the 10 rules but if you are in working in planning department your rules something different if you are working in leading department of the management their rules are different but in order to become the manager what skills you need technical skills the basic one just you need to know that you know physically you are going to do that but you just need to know that i remember my example when i got my bachelor's degree so i worked for kfc i was offered the branch manager job and there was like 20 days training so i was working in the kitchen washing the, the chicken so that was my job on regular basis no just to increase my technical skills how this chicken is made and how which kind of you know seasoning and coatings are applied what is this oil for what is the you know the ratio the viscosity of this oil and all the stuff how much time it takes to make one zinger burger chips this kind of stuff so that was the training for me just for 20 days my minority part majority part was human skills after 20 days i was on my office and i was managing people managing my workers dealing with complaints conflicts and all those stuff conceptual skills are mostly on above level people those who can think about the idea conceptualizes dealing with the complex situation my com complex situation was if somebody you know uh, threw food some on someone so how i can deal with that but if some new situation come to my branch then i need to call to my middle level manager to resolve the situation so what would be the complex situation anything that comes that is not routine problems for example somebody is occupying the washroom and doing some drugs that is routine problem no there is something new what should i do i can call the police so that is i have conceptual skills rather i called my head office and said look this is the new situation and i don't know how to deal with that right or there's a fight in my branch employees fight we know the rules how to manage that but some unique stuff has you know happened or some gang war or something how to deal with that that is a complex situation All right we'll talk about in this stuff you know the structured problems unstructured problem we'll talk about that in our coming lecture okay so today is just the introduction so basically we are just giving you the introduction of overall management and then in our next you know coming classes we will pick one by one and we we'll talk about in details all right so top level managers they need more of the conceptual skills less of the human skills and minor part is technical skill like a tool but if you are a middle level manager do you need more conceptual work no if some complex situation comes which is out of your control always ask the top manager maybe you are not given some authorities on some basis all right but if you are a lower level manager you must know the technical part like i was given when i completed my bachelor in kfc branch how the skin the taste is not good some person is complaining so you are tasting and, and all the stuff so this is my routine manager the job technical managing people the same level and no conceptual minor conceptual stuff because all the problems will be a, a policy and i read the policy and that's it if some customer came with this complaint how to deal with that if employees having having a fight we have this this kind of stuff if there is you know if somebody is asking for holidays who to adjust home so we do this kind of stuff we call this structured 